before you pick out a dress, a venue, a shoe, a makeup artist, a photographer, anything, you need a wedding theme. I go by the stylist named Style Me Nini, and I am a bridal wardrobe stylist. So what that means is I have been helping brides since 2017 pick out a cohesive and stylish bridal wardrobe. I'm so excited for you guys to be here. Welcome. This is the first episode of our brand new series, The Stylish Bride Guide. Well, every week, every Monday, I'll be dropping videos giving you the information that you need as a bride to be the best stylish bride you can be we're going to be talking about all things bridal fashion here so make sure you like subscribe leave a comment leave a question and let's get into it first we have the importance of the venue and the dress selection process before you can pick out a gown you need to pick out a venue because if you don't have a venue you don't have a wedding date for instance like a large ball gown with a lot of volume may be very cumbersome to carry around and tote around a small intimate setting so in contrast a more of a column dress maybe with a overskirt may be more appropriate for something like a smaller intimate maybe a, a gathering in a gallery you see how the theme influences the venue which goes into the dress selection right the second way that a theme is important is matching your theme to the actual dress selection matching your dress style to your wedding theme align a dress style with a theme that ensures harmony in your wedding photos and the overall feel a mismatch can feel out of place like if you have a heavy dress a heavy ball gown on the beach nobody's gonna be happy you're not gonna be happy you're not happy nobody's happy so, for example, you want to make sure if you have, like we said, if you're having a beach wedding, that you have a light, lightweight, breezy, something like organza or chiffon as the main material of your dress to give you one to time to your theme and two so you can be comfortable and it gives a better cohesion look. So we talked a lot about cohesive looks, a theme, stand on theme, stand on theme, stay on theme. Like what does that mean? It's like okay, I get it. My dress need to match my venue. My venue need to match my theme. One cohesive look, but how do we do that? Okay, one thing I do is play a game with my clients. I have them pick out these words that speak to them the most. Adventurous, spontaneous, um, elaborate, glam, like all these things that speak to them that they they feel like describes them. Like that, I do this thing that I do, and it comes out with an aesthetic, and it gives us three words, three ways of developing your own unique aesthetic. I have some examples on my TikTok if you want to go see. Another way to figure out your wedding theme is to pick a decade. Pick your favorite decade as far as fashion, as far as lifestyle, whatever it is, right? And pull out the things that you like about it. If you like the if you like the vintage 1920s, if you like the flapper look and you like a lot of sequins and stuff flapping around, that's your theme, then pick that out and come up with two more things that you like from that era or an era that's either right before it or right after it because usually styles transition by decade so usually the decade is before and after has some remnants of each other so pick something maybe before and after that you also like and then that can help you come up with your cohesive aesthetic like i said if you like vintage pick a vintage era if you like super glam you like you like you want your gown so glammed out so decked out that it can literally stand up on its own like those Lebanese gowns, then you're more of a glam. You may, you want, you want the full glitz and glam, right? But that Lebanese look is different than like the girls, like the black girls down in Atlanta, they have a whole different type of glam. So I definitely suggest that you find some inspiration, rather that's on Instagram, rather that's on TikTok, rather that's on Pinterest, figure out what you like about each one of them and come up with the majority of what you pick out. If you're liking a lot of beading, then it's probably glam. If you're liking a lot of straight lines and simplicity, you may be a more modern minimalist. Right, pick three words. I like to pick a style, a feeling, and an environment. Whimsical, boho, minimalist, aesthetic. 
So you may like a lot, you might like greenery, but not too much. You want straight lines when it comes to your dress, but you definitely want to keep the natural curls in your hair for your wedding day. So to see how those three things came together and it created an aesthetic. So to sum it all up, you need a theme. You need a theme so you can pick out a venue and you need a venue so you can pick out a dress. If you like content like this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and follow me on socials until next week. Bye.